Which in Team News 19's Joel Porter has been following this story all day long, has the results. Joel, how many people supported this? Well, basically looking at the final tally, Greg, this was sort of like a two to one margin. Uh, the measure passed by nearly 3,000 votes, around 6,500 people in Madison, Triana, and a portion of Limestone County said yes. Just under 2,800 people said no. In his pitch to neighbors, Superintendent Robbie Parker told homeowners this is an investment in the city school district for the next 20 years. With one bubble to fill out, it didn't take most voters in Madison and Triana long to decide on Tuesday. So I think that we need to continue to keep the school system at that high level. For most teachers and families, the 12 mil ad valorem tax increase was a no-brainer, even if higher taxes proves a bitter pill to swallow. I bit my lip and I said, yes, I will support the students, I will support the town. But the results should speak for themselves. Uh, resources when it comes to facilities would help so much. I mean, they're using every single room in every building. School leaders and supporters from Madison Forward say they were confident, but more than 6,000 yes votes made it official. The tax proposal passed, giving an estimated $8.4 million annually to help address a rising enrollment now at over 11,700 kids. Acquire the property and begin the design um, for the new schools. I think it should be started immediately. We are ready to move. We will be in New York at the end of this month uh, preparing to borrow money. The money, Parker says, will be used to build three new schools. We plan to open the new elementary school in August of 2021. Parker says a new middle school will open one year later. He says some of the site work could begin next month. The vote now has to be certified by the city council, and that is expected to happen next week. The new tax would take effect next October. Greg and Siobhan.